Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel and today we're going to take a look at accruals and prepayments. Accruals or in other ways called accrued expenses, these are expenses relating to an accounting period but have not yet been paid for. Let's say rent that we are supposed to pay this year was uh, $8,000 but we are just paid $6,000. Then that $2,000 represents the accrued expenses then prepaid expenses or simply prepayments these are expenses relating to a future accounting period but that have already been paid for that means i was supposed to pay the rent of eight thousand dollars but i have paid ten thousand dollars i've paid two thousand dollars in excess and so that represents the prepaid expenses Note that the statement of comprehensive income is usually prepared on accrual basis, not cash basis, and this is, is per international financial reporting standards. Then we can have uh, accrued expenses as well as prepared income are treated as liabilities. Why? Accrued expenses, an expense that I should have paid for but have delayed so it's a liability is treated the same way as the income that have been paid but for which I haven't given the service that's also a liability in the statement of financial position and the same prepared expenses and accrued income are treated as assets in the statement of financial position SF, SOFP that means prepared expense I've paid more than what I should have paid and so that acts as an asset right right let's go to the next page okay here is our question the trial balance extract of ABC limited is at 31st December 20 is as shown below this is just an extract so we have just included rent insurance rent received interest received as well as salaries you have to note one thing here except for sales purchases and discounts allowed and received these items that do not represent assets these items of income and expenses are usually included on a cash basis rent if you see here rent that means we pay rent of two hundred thousand dollars if you see insurance that means we pay insurance of three hundred thousand dollars etc then we're given further information on rent on insurance uh, rent again what we are required to do now uh, show double entries for above items and the extract in the statement of comprehensive income SOCI and statement of financial position SOFP is at 31st December 20x8. So let's go to the solution now. Back to our question here. We paid rent of $200,000, but not one tells us rent for the year amounting to $20,000 had not been paid. That means this was an accrued expense that was an accrued expense of twenty thousand dollars so to record it that means we are still liable to pay twenty thousand a liability and this amount should be added to rent pay so as to record the total amount that should have been paid in the year not that this is a pro basis we record the cost incurred during the year not the cost paid during the year so our double entries will have to add twenty thousand dollars and this will be treated as an expense in the statement of profit or loss but we'll also have to sub to credit rent payable because it will be a liability an accrued expense in the statement of financial position then insurance insurance here this was paid during the year but not two tells us insurance of fifty thousand dollars had been paid for future periods so we overpaid an insurance of fifty thousand dollars so 
the insurance that should have been, been paid during the year is not 300 it's 300 less 50 right and where does that 50 go it becomes our asset so back to the question so we'll have an asset of insurance so it will be an insurance receivable in the statement of financial position 50 and then we'll credit insurance that means we will reduce the amount of, of of insurance that we pay during the year of 50. Back to the question. Rent received. Not three. Tenant still owed ABC limited rent of $60,000. So we rented our tenant and they were yet to pay us $60,000. So for us, it's an income but not yet received so it is an in accrued income so it's an asset not that accrued income can be treated the same way as prepared expense in the statement of financial position so both can be assets here rent receivable forty sixty thousand dollars we credit rent income sixty thousand dollars because we have been paid 60 less, so we have to add it. Back to the question. Interest received amounted to $400,000. But not for says interest totaling $40,000 had been received in advance. So someone was owing us interest, but they paid us more than what they should have paid so they created an asset on their side but on ours we created a liability so instead of recording 400 as interest received our interest income during the year will be 400 less this 40 so here interest income will have to be reduced by 40 that's why I've debited because interest has a credit nature then this would have created a liability of interest interest payable of 40 back to question salaries and the last note salaries incurred during the year amounted to 600,000 so this was incurred differentiate note 5 and note 1 not one says rent for the year amounted to twenty thousand dollars had not been paid we are we are just given the figure that had not been paid but not five we are given the figure that should have been included during the year that was incurred during the year the accrual concept says record costs incurred not paid for and revenues end not received so we go to our question here yeah. we'll have to debit salaries of 150 and we'll have to credit sal salaries payable of 152. Now we go to our extracts. So to prepare the extracts that is just simple. First of all, you just need to, re to remember that uh, an income statement or the statement of profit or loss contains elements that are income and expenses while the statement of financial position contains assets liabilities and equity actually but we're not in concerned with equity or what uh, we, we just need our extracts so what we do here is just shifting what we have already from the trial balance and from our, our journal entries go to question number one here is rent rent equals to two hundred thousand if an expense but an expense paid rent paid so we take this 200 paid and if you see here we added we debited again 20 so it will be 200 plus 20 in the income statement and this will create a rent payable of 20 so here rent rent 200 plus 20 and this will create a uh, a rent payable of 20 here yeah. back to the second line insurance our insurance over here that we paid or 300 
but in our question insurance has to be reduced we have to credit by 50 and then the statement of financial position it will be 50 so what would be here yeah, actually is just shifting the values insurance add my ls 50 insurance receivable 50 so just continue uh, the rest of the questions Next of the questions insurance rent received was 500 but if you see our entries rent received well, we had rent receivable and as an asset 60 and rent income of 60 in the statement of financial position so rent receivable of 60 which is an asset in the statement of financial position and then the rent income we have to add this 60 and so if we go back uh, to this interest received we received an interest of 400 but interest totaling 40,000 had been received in advance so actually we deserve 360 so we take 400 less 40 and that remaining 40 becomes uh, a liability so here you know, let's go to salaries uh, we are supposed to pay salaries of 600 but you had paid only 450 is per question we were supposed to pay salaries uh, of 600,000 but we had only paid 450 so we have to add back that 150 to add one that 150 so as to make 600 and that 150 will be uh, a payable so salaries payable just like this so thanks thanks and until next time